My Simple Kitchen. I'm Marissa Roberts from beautifullyorganized.com. I believe cooking should be enjoyable, but should also fit in with your life. We have a young family, so I can't spend hours in the kitchen every day. We also have a budget to keep to, and I need to make sure that whatever I cook is something my family is going to enjoy eating and I'm going to enjoy making. So if you like the idea of simplifying your cooking and enjoying the process at the same time, stay tuned. Today we're going to be making coconut and jam muffins using a super simple recipe base that I use for any type of muffin I make. It's really easy, it's really fun, and I think you're going to love it. For the foundation of this muffin recipe you'll be needing two cups of self-raising flour, a quarter of a cup of sugar, a quarter of a cup of oil, I use extra virgin olive oil, one cup of milk and one egg. And now for the flavouring of these muffins we'll be using three tablespoons of strawberry jam and a quarter of a cup of desiccated coconut. But to replace that flavouring you can also use any kind of fruit you like and just mash it up. Start with breaking your egg into your large mixing bowl and then you want to whisk it lightly. You don't need any fancy tools or implements for this, I just use a regular fork. Now we're going to add in our milk and our oil and mix up our wet ingredients and then we go to the dry with the flour, sugar, coconut and mix it all up so that you have your basic muffin batter. Put it all in your muffin cups, I like to do half a cupful in each of the muffin batter and then I'm going to go through and add a little dollop of jam to every single muffin cup. It works out about a quarter of a teaspoon per muffin. You just try and place that jam centrally in each cup but it doesn't matter if it's not perfect. And now we top it all up with the rest of the muffin batter and then it's ready to go into a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius. And that's it! So easy! took hardly any time at all and really enjoyable process. If you like this recipe, give it a thumbs up and let me know if you're going to try it at your house. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can see a new Simple Kitchen episode every Tuesday. And if you have any other ideas for future recipes that you need simplified, then let me know in the comments below. That's it from me today. I'll see you next week. Bye!